Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about eight ways cultivating a daily art practice will enhance your life. So I'm going to be talking from my own personal experience of developing my art, of building an art career and what art means to me in my daily life. While I do that, you can watch me working on the first piece from a new art challenge that I'm hosting on my Patreon. It's called Woodland March and there are 15 woodland themed art prompts that you can work on throughout this month if you are one of my patrons. If you'd like to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description beneath this video to my Patreon so you can go and have a look. It's been wonderful so far to see what the patrons are working on, all of the different styles and how they interpret each prompt. And I'm going to be working on the prompts myself, but I've given myself two months to work on them just so I'm not stressed over time. <laughs> so I'll be working on them throughout March and April and I'll be sharing them on Patreon and on Instagram and also in certain videos on my YouTube channel and on my Patreon. OK, with that out of the way, let's get on to the eight ways that cultivating a daily art practice has enhanced my life. Well, number one is that it has given me a focus and an escape from my worries. So if you have the kind of brain that I have, which is a brain that is inclined to worry about everything, overanalyze things, and catastrophize, then doing something like art will bring you a sense of peace. And I suppose I'd call it a distraction <laughs> from all of the stuff that's going on in your head. When I'm really into working on a painting, I find that I just get completely absorbed in what I'm doing. And that means that there's very little room in my head for all of the invasive thoughts that tend to somehow make their way into my brain on a daily basis. When you're having to make decisions throughout the painting process or the drawing process, you're thinking totally about what you're doing, what your next move is going to be, which colours you're going to be using, how you're going to mix those colours if you're mixing all of the different things that go into making a piece of artwork will ensure that there's very little room in your brain to worry or to think about anything else. So that focus has really got me through some very tough times in my life. Art has really been a saviour to me and I've spoken about that before. So I would recommend cultivating a daily art practice if like me you suffer from anxiety or you tend to have one of those brains that fixates on all of the things that could go wrong in life and you just end up overanalyzing and worrying about everything, I would definitely recommend cultivating an art practice to give you a sense of focus and a distraction from any invasive thoughts. The second reason is that it's given me a sense of hope for the future and something to look forward to. I feel like with art, there's always something new to learn. That in itself really excites me. I'm somebody who is naturally curious and I love learning about new things. And I feel like you could live five lifetimes and still never even come close to learning all there is to know about art all of the different materials and the different techniques and the different art styles. It just seems like something that you could never reach the end of. And in that respect, it always gives me something to look forward to. I'm looking forward to learning the next thing, to discovering a new material that I love or a new colour combination that I love. And the very act of learning and researching and the opportunities that all of that could bring really gives me hope for the future. 
As I said before, it was art that kept me going when I have been through some very tough times in my life. And when I stayed focused on my art, I felt a sense of excitement for the future, even in my darkest moments. You never know where those opportunities are going to lead, who you're going to meet, what you're going to discover. And all of that gives you a sense of hope. Through art, I've made so many like-minded friends, whether that's exhibiting in exhibitions and at galleries, or whether I have sold art to certain people who've become friends. And certainly since I've started sharing my work online, first on social media platforms and then on YouTube and on Patreon, it's all meant that I've met so many like-minded people, people who understand why I get excited about certain things and have the same love of art as I do. It's always such a wonderful feeling to feel that the people around you really get you and you get them. And I found that through art, I've really made what I hope are some lifelong friends who've been a wonderful support throughout the ups and downs. And without art, I probably never would have met them. Another thing art has given me is a better life through my career and a means of supporting myself. So I was 33 years old when I finally made art my full-time job. Up until that point, I had been, I would say at the beginning, I was drifting. So in my late teens and early 20s, I was unsure as to what I wanted to do with my life. I always loved art and I loved the idea of making art my career, but I didn't know how to go about it and I think I lacked the confidence to actually make it happen. Things were also more difficult back in those days because, would you believe, and I'm going to give away my age slightly now, but we didn't have a social media there was no internet when I was in my teens. And so it was very difficult to get your work out there. So I drifted for a few years and I had other jobs that weren't what I wanted to do, but at least I was bringing in some money. And then throughout my 20s, my desire to make art my career grew and grew. So I decided to push myself and I gave it the time and attention it deserved. And eventually, at the age of 33, I was able to make it my full time job. Since then, I've been gradually, and I mean very gradually, growing my career and my business. I now have a much better life than I used to. I have a more stable income and all of that has come about through finding something that was my passion and really deciding to work hard. Reason number five for cultivating a daily art practice is the sense of excitement that you'll feel every day. So this never gets old. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that now. If you really have a passion for art, you're going to be excited every single day. I can't wait to get into the studio and carry on working on something that I've left half finished the day before. I sometimes wake up in the middle of the night and suddenly have an idea for a painting. I will sometimes dream of paintings and colours. 
I will think about colour palettes in the middle of the night as well. <laughs> Is all this making me sound like I'm a bit sad? I don't know. But um, one thing I can say is that it feels a little bit like being a kid at Christmas time and always having something to look forward to. I don't know. I don't think I'm alone in feeling like this. I think this is probably quite a common feeling amongst artists. Making sure that art is part of my life every day means that I'm always excited and looking forward to something. Reason number six is that it gives you an appreciation of the smaller things in life. So when I'm out on a walk, I find that I will notice different colours and textures, shapes and patterns. All of these things I don't think I noticed as much before I was an artist or before I was making art a daily practice. And when I say about making art a daily practice, it doesn't actually mean that you have to make art every day. It means, I guess, thinking like an artist every day. So whether you're making work or whether you're just planning it, whether you're swatching art supplies, learning a bit more about your materials, doing some research, gathering images to work from, whatever it is, all of that is part of your daily art practice. By thinking and living like this on a daily basis, I think you'll find that your life is enhanced in ways that you possibly hadn't even thought about before. And definitely noticing the small things in life and having an appreciation for them is something that has really enhanced my life and brought me a real sense of happiness. Reason number seven why cultivating a daily art practice will enhance your life is that it will bring you a sense of achievement. So we kind of touched on this in one of the earlier reasons, but I want to expand on it a little bit more. Whether it's teaching yourself how to use a new material, learning a new technique, creating a piece of work that you feel really proud of, or even selling your work. All of these things bring you a sense of achievement and it's just, I feel, important in life to feel like you're setting yourself goals and reaching them. It doesn't matter how small those goals are. I think that setting goals and making sure you reach them, having the discipline to reach them is a really important part of your development as a human. I also believe in celebrating when you reach your goals. Always celebrate the small victories along the way. It kind of powers you forward to the next stage. And finally, reason number eight why cultivating a daily art practice will enhance your life is because it will give you the opportunity to embrace your inner nerd. I love this aspect of having a daily art practice and making art a huge part of my life. I love the research element of it. If I find out about a new range of paints, 
I will delve right in and do sometimes days of research here and there whenever I have a spare hour or two. I'll look into the ins and outs, I'll look at reviews, I'll see what other people think of them, I'll look up swatches, I'll look up the pigment information. (laughs) It's completely nerdy, it's completely obsessive, but it appeals to that side of my nature. And I also love discussing all of this with my fellow art nerds. I think being a nerd is underrated. It brings a lot of joy to my life and being nerdy with other people who are into the same nerdy things also creates this amazing sense of community and I just love it. I hope that you've enjoyed listening to The Eight Ways Cultivating a Daily Art Practice Can Enhance Your Life. Obviously, this is just my personal opinion. This is what I have experienced in my art journey. And I'd love to hear if you have any further ways that you feel that art has enhanced your life. Please leave them as a comment below. I would love to hear them. And please watch to the end of the video to see the completed painting. If you're interested in checking out my Patreon, please do that via the link below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me to know that you like this kind of video. And it also helps my channel out no end, which I am very, very grateful for. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and would like to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button and then click the little bell notification and YouTube will let you know when I post a new video. Thank you all for watching. It's great to have you here as part of this community. I'm so thankful for it and for you. And I will see you again soon in another video.